Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always in Photoshop. Almost all the time I get a question that how I made those PNGs. So in this tutorial I'll try to cover that one. Uh, and there are a lot to cover in. And before starting a video I'd like to make a request. Please please do subscribe my channel. It will help me a lot and if you want to support me on my Patreon, my Patreon link is in the description below. There are a lot to cover, uh, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So first thing first, let's create an artboard. So for that, press Ctrl and N. And I'll just go with 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, and let's keep the rest as default. And uh, let's delete this layer max. And all the images that I'm using for this tutorial is downloaded from pixelbay.com. So please check on that one. So let's make a selection first and the very first thing let's go for a quick selection and let's uh, add a selection around the object that you would like to make a selection. Let's zoom in. And mostly paint tool is a really good tool so to do a precise selection. But for this one, uh, I think quick selection is good for me. And let's uh, exclude some of these parts. Let's make it a little smaller. And press add. Let's add those. And again, let's exclude some of these parts again. All right, I think everything looks good to me. And now let's create a layer max. So this is what we got and it's uh, and let's select the move tool and let's drag and drop right over here and control let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's make it a little smaller yep, let's keep it like that and again let's do the same thing for this one go to pen, uh, quick selection tool and let's add a selection again we're going to cover it with cloud so uh, we don't need it perfect and then let's make a selection Press V for move tool and let's drag and drop right over here. And again, let's convert it as a smart object. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. And then right click, let's do a vertical flip and let's keep it just like so. And maybe let's add a little bit of rotation. Yep, just like that. And, and let's keep it under this layer Control T, right click, warp yep, let's keep it like that and select both of them Control T, let's add a little rotation now let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right over here and then um, I apply the same technique to make a selection for this uh, player image so let's drag and drop right over here again right click convert as a smart object control T let's make it a little smaller just like and then let's turn that visibility off and let's create a layer max 
and then I want to make uh, sure that this player is inside this line and uh, let's uh, make the opacity down maybe just just like so and then let's fit it out so just like so and again we can use pen tool or the tool free of your choice and then let's get a small part back right over here and then let's make it uh, complete visible and again let's erase those parts right over here and again a little part right right over here now let's create a new layer and press alt and move your cursor in between these two layer uh, to make clip to layer and go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's go for a black color and let's add a shadows right over here just like that and maybe some more on the very bottom yep let's keep it like that and then let's create a background solid and let's go for a kind of darker darker blue yep, let's go for kind of this one and uh, let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a cloud brush and if you want to download this same brush pack please check on the description as below yep let's go for this one and make sure the color i'll just make it white or maybe a little light yep let's go for this one and let's add a cloud right over here and then let's create one more layer let's add some rotation let's go for another one let's go for this one and let's go to the very bottom add a new layer go to brush and this time let's go for a bronze brush and i'll just use for this one and let's go for another one let's see yep let's go for this one and just add a little bronze on the background and for this one let's keep it inside a group Control G. Let's call it as a image folder, and let's create a layer max again. Go to the brush, and let's go for a same cloud brush, and then let's edit some of these parts, which has a little hard edges over here, and let's do the same thing for this one too. Yep, just just like so and let's go to the very bottom add a new layer and let's add some of these clouds right over here and let's drop down the opacity just like that now let's do some color adjustment so select this layer go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's uh, increase the clarity increase the texture let's drop down the highlights increase the shadows and then let's go to the color mixer tab and let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's drop down for yellows and let's drop down a little bit for blues and even for just a red red too and let's keep it like that and let's do the same thing for another layer so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and i think uh we need to reset to default and let's uh, increase 
clarity, increase texture, maybe drop down the highlights just like so and maybe just drop down the vibrance just like so and let's click on OK and let's do the same thing for the bottom one, select this layer, go to filter, let's go over here, go to filter, camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and maybe for this one let's uh, decrease the vibrance some more and let's keep it like that all right now let's go on very top add a new color lookup and from here click on load and i'll just go with cinelat and this is how it looks now let's create a one more layer go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray let's change it to soft light let's go to uh, dozen brown let's add some dust right over here medium some edges too just like that and let's add some brown And let's add a text so go over here go to text tool and then and then let's uh, move this text a little down let's make it a little bigger and again to add some uh, again, let's create a layer max, go to brush and then let's add some grunges. Maybe it's too much. Uh, let's keep it like that and then let's make a one more copy of this text layer. Let's move it on top. Control T. Let's keep one right over here. add a gradient map so go over here add a gradient and let's change the saddles to kind of a little darker color and let's change the highlights to a little warmer color maybe just like so and let's change the blending mode to soft light change some color for this text so let's change this color to kind of darker red yep just like that and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.